welcome back, Mondays with the Masons. This week, we're gonna be talking about what nobody likes to hear, low ball offers. Oh. So you're selling your house and you got an offer way below the list price and way below what you were hoping for. First thing is, I hate the term low ball offer, right? Activity breeds more activity. And in my opinion, if we've got an offer, now we have the opportunity to draw that out by responding to that offer. I always think that you should respond to the offer so that we can call other agents, we can call other buyers and let them know, guess what? We've got an offer on the property. Exactly. And you know what? Sometimes that low ball offer ends up being the offer that you end up taking because they end up coming up higher. It doesn't mean that they're not gonna be the highest offer. Sometimes they just wanna negotiate. So, if you're a seller, you get an offer that's lower than your asking price. You're taken back, you're upset. We're saying take, take a deep a breath, take a deep <laughs> breath, because guess what? That offer may actually be the one that ends up selling your home. Exactly. So we hope that helped. If you guys have any other questions, real estate, anything like that, we would love to help you out. And with that, we'll talk to you next, next week. week.